Tourists come to this restaurant to immerse themselves in the culture of Guatemala. They come to enjoy the food, people, and music. People listen to enjoy the present. But most don't know that embedded in this music are stories from the struggles and violence of the past. However, these melodies are also made to inspire change for the future. The youth of Guatemala struggle to find their voice. Many discover music and use it as a way to voice their opinions and let out their feelings. For me, music is important because it is a refuge and I can express my feelings. It is a part of me. In a plaza in Antigua, a group of kids have a band called the Slaters. We are a small group of musicians that play in the streets. The music we play represents our lives. We like to play in the street because it lifts people's spirits. If somebody is feeling down, we can cheer them up. I love music because it opens a door to another world. It allows me to express my feelings. When I play guitar, it feels like I'm flying. These cousins in Antigua hope to change their future by rapping inspirational messages. I like to express the reality of life in this country. I want to live the music and that's all I do. Right now, with everything going on in the country for young people, there are a lot of musical groups that make music against the system. I play music to distract me from all the bad things going on in the world. I can take refuge in the music. It gets me away from the stress of everyday life. Music is very important in Guatemala, even more important than politics. Music can change sensibilities and consciousness, but in politics, they can only change ideology, and after some time, people recognize the deception. For Guatemalans who lived through the violence of the Civil War, music took on a different meaning than for the younger generation. These genocide survivors remember when music signified a peaceful life. During the 80s, guerrillas in the Guatemalan military used music as propaganda to recruit soldiers and inspire their troops. It's always in my mind that the war created the music. Music talks about the struggle and the fighting during the war. It's almost an obligation to sing the songs of the war. It is a way to keep it in people's consciousness. Raikiche was the song that all the grandparents wanted to listen to. It makes them feel better and helps them overcome what has happened in the past. It gives them consolation and helps them heal. The music is very distinct to Guatemala, playing on a marimba. It makes you feel very Guatemalan. It relaxes the whole family. For the performer, Juan, it took sacrifice and hardship to be able to sing in front of this crowd. During the violence in the 80s, music and art was used to protest and inspire the people of Guatemala. People who used art to fight for justice were considered leaders. Juan's father was murdered by the government because he was an influential leader and considered a threat. My father was a leader. At that time, leaders didn't have a place here. The leaders were eliminated, but my father was never afraid of this. He was always there when you called him, and he stood by his friends. He was the face of the people. He ended up being one of the innocent victims of the Guatemala Civil War. I have the same name as my father. So every time I say my name, people ask me, are you the painter? And I say, yes, that's my dad. Every time people ask me about him or talk about him, it's like he is more alive than ever. When you remember somebody, then they never die. Será siempre mi alma, tu vida sola. 
The people of Guatemala risk their lives to protect and preserve what music provides for them. Music is a source of joy, a voice for the youth, a way to heal. Music is the path to change the future for the better. If you believe that music can change the way you think, then you can change a nation. Stampa